Hey Taurus, this is Ascension Empress with your bonus birthday reading. Y'all are like, y'all are like number seven or eight on my list. Actually, seven and eight because y'all get the bonuses anyway. Then I was like, wait a minute, it's Taurus season, so happy birthday, you all. I'm so excited for y'all, and thank you so much for your love and your support. I appreciate y'all so much for commenting, the positive comments. Y'all actually don't leave negative comments. Yeah, I don't really get that, other than, like, the little spam messages. Um, but, yes, may peace and blessings be upon everyone. And thank you all so much for your patience, your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And welcome if you are new. We're going to get into it, y'all. So, this is just whatever, okay? So, we're going to see what messages we have um, going into the past, going forward, here in this present moment, in love, career. Also, this full moon Scorpio um Full moon and Scorpio that's coming up, especially on the 26th. So, mm, okay, I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity, y'all, especially to release. Y'all really gonna have to utilize this Taurus energy, stay grounded. Um, and again, look at this as an opportunity because so many people about to be so out of whack, y'all. But this is your energy, you know. The sun is in Taurus, Mercury's in Taurus, Venus is is in Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus, like. You got this. You've been studying this. This is time for you to take this test. And I'm also getting, maybe you may be teaching someone. A lot of people are wanting to learn from you. And I, yeah, y'all had that, y'all, see, y'all had that reading. Y'all had that energy. So let's see. What messages do we have? What messages do we have? I feel like y'all are about to pick up a new study, too. Many of y'all are remaining humble. Okay, I'm also hearing back to the bases. Wow, that's crazy. So you, some of y'all may re be receiving some type of um, income, something that is going to help you move forward. I'm also getting for some of y'all to continue your studies, um, to take on a new opportunity to, yeah, yeah, whatever this justice is in the past, it could have been a legal decision as well, or it's just your karma. You know, it's some, it's some monetary reward coming in for you. Let's see, what messages do we have going forward for my Taurus? What messages do we have for my Taurus? Ooh, we, I know that's exactly, exactly. So there is good news coming in. A lot of news, a lot of communication about this, what it is that you are focused on. Okay, they get a lot of focus. Um, also about what I'm getting something may some of y'all may have created. Yeah, y'all created something here. Let's see. Look at that. Yeah, and it's it's about to take off because not only are they about to take off and pretty yeah, that's the same that's pretty much the same girl. Okay. She's like, uh, gotta go. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all ain't gonna say much. Let me just get this news. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like this is business related for many of you. Some of y'all are about to relocate because of a job. There's an opportunity for you to receive additional income. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My voice is going out too. So y'all are definitely going to have to, you know, really. Some of the, this decision may be quick. Okay. So you may not be saying anything. And it's not that it's intentional. It's just like the way it moves. This offer comes in fast. Maybe there's this sudden opportunity that you, you know, you didn't really have, again, it's, it's this justice, it's this karma. You know, you didn't have to apply or anything. You got this two wands here, so let's see. Look at that. Look at that. So you ain't have to apply or anything. You will be, you got to be out of there, okay? Wherever you, I feel like many of y'all are probably in this environment. You're probably in this environment like, okay, which direction should I go? Like, you know. Um, like, it's for example, say you were in a small town and you're that person who I'm getting has bird's eye view. You know how to connect with people as well. I'm getting this, yeah, the Libra energy with the Two of Cups and the Justice card here. Okay, but you're having to steal away from, I'm getting, what will hold you back? Old mindsets, okay? People who don't serve you moving forward. Some of y'all are about to get a car as well. Okay, be mindful. What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? Because I get some other energy. What? messages do you have for this mm. yep the world card so there is definitely a new beginning here um someone could be seeing you step into this new chapter okay any other messages for this seven of swords yeah look at that <laughs> that one is to come out the three of wands there's a lot of planning going here wow now we see who look at the bottom look three of wands still again 
And then you got the Nine of Wands, okay? <laughs> Look at that. Nine of Wands does not want you to go. Does not want you to move forward. They want you to be confused. They see that you have options. Look, they may be trying to come in and initiate some type of argument or some type of idea, okay? They see that you have a lot of options because of your creativity, because I'm also getting this approach. You take you take a humble-like approach, okay? You have no problem, yeah, starting over, but that's the season that you're in. Many of you are very aware of that, okay? Yeah, y'all have that energy around fresh start, okay? Now, this energy, this could be somebody from the last reading where they didn't want you, you know, to be in this energy. They lied on you and everything. Now, here they are reaping what they tried to make you go through, okay? Feeling bound, feeling rejected, having to face themselves while you look at your options. With, yeah, now they're coming in. This person is coming in. Protect your energy, y'all. Protect your energy and protect yourself because this knot of wands is coming in with this very toxic um, energy where they're not going to take accountability for their actions is what I'm getting, okay? This person has a lot of resentment. Look at that. You got the three of cups, okay? <laughs> That's the shame. I, I get that one day, some, some people may see you celebrating, you know, they may see that you may have cut somebody out. It, it could be a romantic partner, you know, business or whatever, but look, but this is not a wands here. I feel like they're coming back in because they used to be a part of your circle. They used to be a part. You used to share good news. Okay, but now you're still doing you. You're still enjoying yourself is what I'm getting. Somebody's also being released from prison. There's news about this. Okay. But there's celebration when this person comes home. Yeah, this is good news to somebody that someone is being released. Okay, there's a new chapter here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Ow, it hit me in the neck, okay? The, the star card. So, this is definitely a chapter of new beginnings and your dreams coming true for many of you, okay? A lot of healing, a lot of self-love that's going on, time blood. Your conviction is very attractive. Your humility, your ability not to react to just anything, okay? Also, not playing the victim, is because this is you, okay? Many of y'all, y'all in the strength energy. You are, you're a fixed sign, just like Leo, okay? And very sure. I feel like this took place with this justice card, this strength, this discipline, this priority, these boundaries, okay? Boundaries about what you're going to be doing moving forward. Focusing on your dreams, bringing them into reality, and not being tied up into other people's problems and illusions. What do we need to know about the two of wands? Wow. Look at that, the Queen of Wands, okay? So the Two of Wands and the, and the Queen of Wands is basically saying, like, you ready to step forward, step into your power, especially do what, you know, you're going to do what you got to do, especially when it comes to business. I get huge business ownership energy with y'all, and I love it. This, oh, all this Taurus energy, y'all better take full advantage, okay? Yeah, so with this full moon, look, a lot of people are not doing their shadow work, y'all. And the Scorpio is going to bring it up. It's not like it's just a new moon in Scorpio. Now, that's going to be a whole other story, especially if people don't get right with this full moon in Scorpio. But to have a full moon in Scorpio, y'all, and you already are having to deal with, like, the subconscious, the unknown, the unseen, those secrets, that trench work, like, look at that. She said yes. And I love that the Queen of Cups came out, okay? It's not so much the King of Swords or the Queen of or the King of Cups, but to have this Queen of Cups, there's compassion here. I feel like many of y'all have this strength about you, um, have this awareness, this emotional intelligence, okay? Because I don't see that y'all are emotionally unavailable. I feel like y'all are just really focused. Your priority y'all are very balanced, okay? Very balanced. Look at that. I said very balanced. And three cards popped out again six and a six <laughs> there's your balance in that six of pentacles focusing on what makes sense i'm also getting positive communication positive news all you want is good news it's not saying that you're going to cut out the bad news and you won't be receptive to reality um but you know you're not interested in 
you know, the law of vibrational theory cuts energy where there's gaslighting and there's gossiping and, you know, you're moving forward to what's going to make sense, okay? And I feel like you guys are also going to be communicating more with those who you feel are worthy of your time and energy. Yeah, y'all got that second house energy. Yeah, y'all definitely are... <laughs> I feel like the, the time management and the priorities are on point with y'all. Okay, yeah. See, Queen of Wands and look at that. I said on point. There go your Queen of Swords and the King of Wands here with the Queen of Wands. So this is definitely a lot of business um, for some of y'all. Um, there may be some power struggle in the workplace or when it comes to a position as far as authority. Um, I'm also getting maybe a dispute over what somebody said over some type of policy okay and i feel like this this king of wands energy here is not taken too well with this person is saying because if you think about it this is aries sagittarius or leo now somebody here has to have strength with the strength card here but somebody here is having i'm look this look like she laying down the law or she's you know <laughs> she's literally letting this person know and they're like not feeling it well look at that look at they fist y'all they not feeling it this person does not like to be told what to do okay they may not be liking this news that they're receiving i feel like somebody may be receiving some type of legal information as well okay but either way there's this air-like energy there's some type of communication some type of boundary standard um being set or a reminder and this king of wands maybe to this king of wands or something being brought to this king of wands attention that does not make them feel too happy okay it may be this person you know who is in this energy yeah i'm also getting this ten thousand energy this could be, be somebody within the workplace okay somebody may not take it too well they may be demoted and yeah look at y'all see taurus y'all the ones that, who are coming into position now other people are having to be humbled okay because when you are when you humble yourself you are exalted look at that when you humble yourself you are exalted i feel like this this reading is so straightforward okay some of y'all are definitely live living below your means keeping things like y'all don't say much is what i'm getting but when you do it makes sense okay and it's going to be something that is going to play a huge role in the long run you also like i'm getting you check it at the door yeah as soon as, but, but you also still keep your plans and your money and your energy to yourself. Okay, look at that. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands to Four of Pentacles. This is, this is amazing. So continue to protect your energy. I'm also getting Black Tourmaline. Get you some Tiger's Eye. Okay. Malachite as well. Y'all intentions are going to be on point. And Hematite, y'all. What is the overall message? Or, yeah, what's the overall message? Then we're going to pull a couple of Scorpio full moon messages for y'all. What's the overall message for my Taurus? Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So there is a connection coming together. Some type of partnership or contract. Um, A lot of good news. Approval. Wow. You got the death card. Scorpio full moon. We're we going to talk about it, y'all. We're going to talk about it. There's definitely a transformation here, okay? And I'm getting reward for the work. Reward for this transformation for... Somebody is overcome. There is a. I'm getting a connection here that is overcoming. There is a restoration of a connection as well. Okay, if not a new love connection. So what do we need to know about this full moon in Scorpio for my Taurus? What do they need to be aware of? Ooh we. It's interesting because you think about it. You know, you think about the family, the foundation. I get this four energy, and then you have this ten of cups. So. Again, don't get too washed up in, I'm getting the obsessions, the worry. I'm also getting, give gratitude. Give a lot of gratitude. Pour into others. Share share this Ace of Cups energy that you have. Look, keep that Four of Pentacles to yourself. But share that Ace of Cups energy with these relationships. You know, I feel like some people may be going through some really tough times. Okay, and while you are supposed to protect your energy, you're still supposed to be in the Six of Pentacles energy with your emotions, okay, and what makes sense. Okay, not too much, but give what makes sense. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you write the rules, you set the standard. 
I love it. I love it, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. What advice do you have? What advice do you have for my Taurus when it comes to the Scorpio full moon? What advice do you have? Ooh -wee. Okay. One, have faith. And again, I said give gratitude. And y'all need to give a lot more praise is what I'm getting. Give a lot more praise. I heard you'll receive more. Yeah, you'll receive more. Wow. I was going to say you'll receive more praise. You'll through pinnacles as well. Look, y'all. You got the four of cups and the knight of cups. I just talked about being open emotionally. Either you can be in this four of pinnacles or, see, I said four of pinnacles. Holding back. You can hold back when it comes to your material possessions and your business and some of your plans. But don't isolate yourself. It's saying offer yourself open up a little bit because there's definitely opportunities here okay and then you have these see you have these three cards that popped out the four of swords the queen of pentacles here you secure reliable and more people wanting to offer you opportunities people wanting to learn from you again okay i feel like y'all are not seeing like how close this is i feel it's like it's right around the corner or it's either right in front of your face Whatever it is you're praying for, it's saying go ahead and praise and thank and thank God for it. Okay, because it's here, it is here. The higher font, Taurus energy, the foundation. You're all in your season. Y'all better look at y'all chart. Okay, so that is y'all reading. Okay, thank you so much again for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, my information is down below. Please be mindful if you book between the 24th and the 1st, it may take an extra seven days. For you to receive your reading. Um, but yeah. I love you all. Take care. Bye.